All right, 26-16. First game of the Coach Shajera. First loss of the Coach Shajera. And we're running laps until we can't run laps no more. Hey, not a bad first half. Could have been better. That's why you got to score those points when you get into the red zone. You got to get six instead of three. You got to... I mean, the defense... The defense is playing good, and then you just let them get worn out, worn out, worn out. We've seen this story a thousand times for years and years and years. The offense just fucking turns the ball over. And I'm not going to put this defense in the book, in the class, with some of the other defenses of the recent years, because those fucking defenses will fold in the first half. Defense was shot by the end, and I'm happy with my guys. I'm not happy with the result. I'm happy with my guys. I'm happy with the process. Did you fucking guys think we were going to go go in, just dust the Steelers, with that fucking defense full of maniacs and monsters? Unless you thought, I want to see everyone who's complaining about this loss saying, up, oh, Giants are a lock tonight. I'm, I'm making notes. Making notes of all the fucking rats jumping off the ship after one fucking game. This isn't the kind of fucking fans coach judge demands. Excellence demands it. Accountability. You don't want to fucking, you just want to jump off, get your jokes off. Jump up, get your jokes off. Fuck off of my ship. Fuck off of Coach Judge's ship. We're just gonna keep running until we get better or we die. Whatever comes first. Who gives a shit? Having fun. Football season's fun. Lots of fun. Love it. Love it. It's actually perfect temperature right now, too. Oh, and we got the shoes on right now. We got shoes on. Got the New Balance slip-ons. Dad shoe 3000. It's the best thing in the world. Can't do flip flops because we're gonna keep running and make the pain go away. Offensive line needs to get better. All the fucking running back truthers having their day. Fucking, just fucking retweeting all their tweets about running backs as if like offensive line doesn't make a difference for running back. As if Saquon's not explosive when he actually has a little bit of room. And they're gonna get theirs too. They'll be fucking drowning with the rats. All the giant fan rats into the ocean. Get off the ship rats and you're not allowed back on. Go root for another fucking team rats. We don't want you. We're just gonna keep running. Keep running. Fuck the swing. Fuck the swing. Come on, come on swing. <sighs> I'd be quiet. Kids are sleeping. Anyway, it's all right. Um, what else? Danny, I've already talked about in the other laps. Picking the end zone, picking your own zone in like the 20 or 30. Not good. Listen. Not every week we playing the Pittsburgh fucking Steelers and that defense that was had that team, what, 9-7 and seven last year with a bunch of fucking zombies at quarterback. We're all right. We're all right. Next week we have the goddamn Bears followed by the Niners, followed by Aaron Donald. I just had to say Aaron Donald. I mean, I said the Rams. Aaron Donald is a fucking team. So it's not going to get easier. We got to get better. That means step up, run your laps, do your drills, Listen to your coaches, Jason Garrett. A little bit of um, some adjustments, maybe. Maybe a little bit of a. Uh, what the fuck was that? Maybe a little bit of um, urgency at the end there. Two possession game, three minutes left. Maybe score, get the two, and then have the two minute warning inside. Just my call as a Madden player. Speaking of which, Danny Dimes, that is the epitome of my Madden game. You just dink, dunk all the way down the field, throw a pick in the end zone, and go, why the fuck am I playing this game? I'm like, why the fuck am I watching this? But you know what? New season. New regime. We're fucking not giving up. If you want to give up, you fucking gave up with McAdoo. As you should have. Shermer is a fucking bucket head. Joe Judge is different. Coach Judge is different. I'm telling you. Coach Judge is different. Got to believe in something. Fall for anything. And Uncle Stevie's coming, so this loss rolls off her back a little easier. I shouldn't say that. Losses we take seriously, they don't roll off her back. But I'm happy Steve Cohen is one of the Mets. Different part of my brain than my football brain. Coach Judge, I swear. I'm not taking this loss lightly. What the fuck is that town? Uh, I don't know. His peppers are right. Got to figure that out. Um, nice to have linebackers who can tackle for once. That was pretty sweet. First time we've had linebackers with tackle since like Kavika Mitchell and fucking Antonio Pierce were running wild. Um, Evan Ingram, one bad play away from being off my team. I'll take Caden Smith in the big toe all day, every day. Saquon's getting it on track. Not worried about him. 
I won't be worried about him if he runs for negative yards next week either. Believe in Saquon. Believe in Danny Dimes. Danny Dimes, I'll tell you, everyone's going to be talking about the good, the bad, the ugly this week. Danny Dimes going down and holding on to the ball with two hands. That's a win. That's a win. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Slayton looked fucking awesome. Slayton looks quicker. Slayton, maybe he's just not as stiff because he's in his second year. I'm telling you, I think everyone takes off pads. Once you're in the NFL, you're like, I got to ship pads because you need that little half a 1.001 millionth of speed for the defenders. Peppers, too. He took off some pads, too. Everyone's looking faster out there. Special teams looking special. We knew Joe Judge was going to get our special teams looking special. That's what I like to say. Best combination in Giants history. Manning to Burris or, you know, whatever you want to say. No, no, no. Feagles to Tyree. When he fucking coughed and cornered him, Tyree would catch the ball. That's the kind of catches Tyree used to make before everyone knew him from the helmet catch. We're all right. Um, honestly... I'm, I'm not happy with the loss, but I'm happy with at least a, a real team. You get blown out like that against fucking the Washington professional football team from Washington, the, the District of Columbia, and Washington football team that plays football professionally for money in order to play football. That's one thing. That didn't happen with us today. I don't know if Camp Fleming is going to get replaced or what we're going to do. I like to think this is my spin zone. Solder would have been in that spot. He's not in that spot. They were going to put Solder at right tackle. I'm not saying he would have done better. He fucking could have more than likely done worse. But you know what? We got Parrot. Parrot. Uh, coming in. We got the gates of hell. The alpha male hopefully getting better as he goes along. Um, but we need... I'm going to sound like a goddamn Cowboys fan. This is going to be the worst part about the Jason Garrett era. I'm going to start saying like, we need more creativity and imagination with our plays. As if we had fucking the greatest offense on earth the last five years. Nope. We're getting better as a team. I don't know how this lap thing started. But it's going to fucking end me. Um, let's see. Let's go around the line up here. What else we got? Um, they missed some extra points. We didn't miss any extra points. Juju Smith-Schuster fucking killed us all day. I like Juju. I can't believe he got that fumble. You want to talk about fumble luck? Seven guys to one guy. And the fucking one guy gets it over seven. And I can't even blame, like, the... Not like the Giants. They, they, they did the drill. We saw him slip in and slide, and they recovered the fumble in the first quarter. Just bounced perfectly for him. Tip your hat to the Steelers. Good team. Good organization. Good organization. I think I'm having a stroke. Good organization. They, uh... They, uh... They're kind of like our sister franchise. I know the Roonies and the Maras. There's a marriage there. A little blood. Two prestigious franchises. So, to my hat, Steelers go beat the shit out of the Eagles, the Cowboys, and the professional football team from Washington, D.C., District of Columbia, professional football team from Washington. Um, and I'm not going to talk about the tweet. Make it around, around the, rounds around the internet. It's a bad tweet. And if you retweet it, quote retweet it, and if not only you talk bad about the Giants, but if you talk bad about yourself as a fan, you're on my watch list. We don't, we don't, we don't fucking feel sorry for ourselves. We don't feel bad for ourselves. We're the New York fucking Giants fans. The New York football fucking Giants. No one feels bad for us. They're not just laughs at us. They throw Eli faces, Eli memes in our face, with his face up, all that stuff. I think the internet feels bad for us. We fucking beat the Patriots. Fucking 18 0 Patriots in this greatest game ever played. No one feels fucking bad for us. You're gonna cry poverty. Look, I'm ashamed of what this franchise has become the last five years. A bunch of fucking jokes and all that shit. I think I just cracked my glasses. No one feels bad for us. So don't fucking feel bad for yourself. Have some fucking respect for yourself, all right? Think of it this way when you tweet out something, if Coach Judge looked at that tweet, what would he think about it? What would he think about it? Huh? Think about that. Be the fucking change you want to be. I think her Gandhi said that. We're a fourth quarter team, fourth quarter coaches, yeah. We're fourth quarter fans. Not just in the game, and that doesn't really carry weight for this game, but in the season and in life. When things get tough, we ain't going nowhere. Four is up. Four is up. Four is up. We're going to get through this together, guys. We're going to get there. 
got the Bears next week. We got Mitch. We got Khalil Mack. Oh, fucking Allen Robinson is going to be a problem. But we got the Bears. We beat them a couple years ago. Lost last year. But we got this. We got this, guys. Come on. Don't fucking give up now. We didn't do all those laps in the summer for fun. That was, that was, those laps in the summer were to make us stronger in the fall and the winter. Don't give up. Don't give up. Fours. All hands on deck. All hands on deck. <sighs>